hello and welcome to this lab in this lab we are going to troubleshoot SATA devices you work at a computer repair store a customer is having trouble with their hard drives as their computer does not recognize all the drives in the machine in this lab your task is to use the BIOS settings to determine how many drives are currently being recognized so we are going to power on and depending on the computer you're using in either cases for this lab you can either use your F2 or delete button so you click the power button and I will use F2 in my case so the first display we have here is on uh, under the general tab you have the system information so on the right pane, we scroll down to check how many how many devices are currently recognized. So we can see from here SATA one with its information, which shows just one is being recognized. It will display here if any other device is being recognized. Please, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you can check out the channel for more test out videos and other IT related stuff. So we have to okay answer question one. So from what we just saw from the BIOS, we can see that just one device is being recognized. Troubleshoot the hard drives to see why they are not all being recognized. So from here, we are going to find out why. Let's go back to our workbench. And you will have to say power off for now. And let's go to a motherboard. So the top hard drive contains the operating system. So I can say this is kind of a hint that the top hard drive is the one that's being recognized, is the one that the system recognizes, which means most likely the issue will be with the second hard drive. So you can use the PC tools to check if all the cables are working, but for the sake of time, we'll go straight to the point. So we are going to disconnect the second hard drive and try to fit in the spare we have at the shelf. So you go to hard drives. Let's take out this one. I advise you keep it somewhere around the workstation so you don't get mixed up. So let's replace that hard drive. And let's put back a SATA cable that was disconnected. Just a moment, maybe I should zoom in so you can have a better view. And let's click on the power supply to get a power cable for to get a power cable for a hard drive I guess it should be a 15 pin yes we got that right most likely the problem has been resolved so to verify that, let's go back to our BIOS. We go to the front view, power on the computer, and press my F2 to boot into BIOS. And from here, you can see SATA 1, SATA 2, which means the second hard drive is being recognized. See you in the next lab, guys. You can verify the answer and it's all done. 
see you in the next video